Welcome back. You're still watching The Woman Show, and today we are speaking about women's health and specifically the still taboo topics like periods, fertility, and endometriosis and PCOS, which I personally don't know a lot about, and that's why it's important for us to have this conversation. And joining me in studio <laughs> is Dr. Carmen James, who is an integrative doctor and health coach focusing on women's health and also has a very cool YouTube channel called Dr. Carmen James. Carmen, welcome and thank you for joining us. Thank you so much for having me. It's an honor to be out. Yay. I'm so excited for this conversation, but like I said, I don't know very much about uh, endometriosis and PCOS, but I'm seeing a lot more narrative emerging around it. And I think we need to start with, you know, what are they, both of them, and um, is there a difference? Absolutely. So that's a fantastic question and a great place to start. And I'm very happy to see that more people are talking about these topics because it's so important for us to be educated about these. So there is a difference between the two. Perhaps let's start with endometriosis. Mm -hmm. Endometriosis is a condition where the, every month when you have your menstrual cycle, the lining of the uterus starts to develop yes. in preparation for the baby, right? So yeah. the egg gets released from the ovary and it makes its way through the fallopian tubes to get into the uterus, hoping that it's going to get fertilized and make you pregnant. But when that doesn't happen, then yeah. you have your period. But the influence of the hormones in your body cause that lining of the uterus to grow. Now, in endometriosis, what happens is that lining of cells that are similar to the lining of the uterus mm -hmm. start to grow outside of the uterus. And that's a problem because your body's hormones are causing that lining or that tissue that's similar to the lining to thicken and grow. And under the influence of certain hormones, that lining is supposed to shed. But the problem is, if the lining is outside of the uterus, there's nowhere to go. Oh, wow. And so it basically it starts to bleed mm -hmm. and causes scar tissue. And so what happens in endometriosis, this patches of tissue outside of the uterus act almost like glue inside your pelvis. Mm -hmm. And they start sticking things together. So it can attach to your ovaries, it can attach to your uterus on the outside, it can attach to your bowel, to your bladder. Oh, no. And so with endometriosis, a lot of the symptoms are centered around pain because that scar tissue can be very painful. And also, depending on where the tissue attaches, you can get other symptoms. So if it attaches to your bowel, perhaps you may have things like constipation or pain when you are using the toilet. Maybe if it attaches to your bladder, you could have difficulty or pain when passing urine. So by and large, the main complaint for people with endometriosis is chronic pain and it's really pelvic pain but it also depends on where that tissue attaches. PCOS is a completely different condition and an often misunderstood condition. PCOS stands for polycystic ovarian syndrome and really when <laughs> when things don't really make much sense in medicine and it's just a bunch of symptoms together we kind of just call them a syndrome. Yeah so PCOS is one of those conditions where there's lots of different symptoms but basically what's happening in PCOS is that women are not ovulating. And when you're not ovulating, it means you're not releasing that egg. So it means that you'll have less periods. Your periods will happen less frequently. So you have longer time frames between your periods. And also what happens in PCOS is that the levels of male type hormones, what we call androgens, like testosterone, perhaps you're familiar, will start to increase. And so people with PCOS tend to have symptoms tied with that link of high androgens. Abnormal hair growth on the face, mm. you know, um, hair loss on the top of the head, women have acne, um, they gain weight. Some people um, really battle with fertility mm. in both endometriosis and PCOS because you're not ovulating as frequently. And it's a, it's a misnomer, the name, polycystic ovarian syndrome, because some people do have cysts on the ovaries, but you can actually have PCOS even if you don't have cysts on your ovaries. So it's not one of the things that you have to have to be diagnosed with this condition. But both endometriosis and PCOS really can affect your quality of life, mm -hmm. and they definitely can both affect your fertility rate. And certainly in, in endometriosis, the pain is a problem. Um, and with PCOS, perhaps it's the other symptoms that are associated with the condition that cause more 